So, hello there and welcome to Cold Waters. I wasn't really planning to make more videos for a while, but well, seems like um, people like the review and well, I'm going to play this game anyway, right? So why not record myself while I'm doing it? Um, don't expect uh, very advanced editing, don't expect it to be scripted or something because yeah, it's just going to be me playing this game, okay? I don't want to put too much work into it right now. So let's go with a campaign. New campaign, 90, 1984. No, I'm not this guy. I'm this guy. Yeah, let's get a Los Angeles. Uh, Portsmouth, okay. SSN 707. Now we are going to be given some background information on how the world started. If you want to read it, you can stop the video and take a look. Uh, it's always the same intro for um, a given campaign, so I already know what's about. Is how the war began. Just to give you a little bit of background information on how the events developed and why we are at war. And uh, there you go, rest attack war declared. So now we are going to receive our orders for our first mission. World pack of enemy attack submarines is returning after having successfully operated. Okay, we have to go against a world pack of enemy submarines. Good. They are coming back, so they will be moving from west to east. Uh, we are going to try to get them in the UK, which is Greenland, uh, in Iceland, UK, the Straits over there. Uh, locate and sink the enemy attack submarines. Okay. So we are at port, we are going to rearm. Uh, this is mostly against submarines, so I'm going to unload harpoons. I'm going to get one more um, moss, which is really good at spoofing enemy uh, sonars, and more Mark 48s. The harpoon is a really good weapon, but I don't use it a lot because the second you fire, the enemy can see where you are, and yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's get the hell out of here and acquire a position east of Torshaven, which is in the Faroe Islands, I think. Okay. And now let's wait for some intel on the location of those, su those subs. And we will move to intercept. They might go through this or this. In both cases, we are well located. Okay, so far no patrols on this area and I would really need one to know what we are looking at. Okay, let's move slowly a little bit there. Okay, we have some news. Those ground in West Germany, yeah, the Red Army is pushing hard. Okay, we have some contacts here, but this is not the stuff. Okay, okay, let's move in front and slightly south. Now let's move in front. There, and wait them there. No, we did miss them. Okay, let's put ourselves in front of them. There we go. We got a contact. Bearing 242, Sierra 1. We are... Ooh, there's no thermal layer. Uh, that might be a problem. Okay, we are heading west. They would be heading northeast, I'm guessing, close to maybe 20k yards, and go there. Immediately, as we get into it, we order silent running. And we have... We got and we lost a contact. And we don't even know where it was. Well, it was 240 something, right? Let's check the conditions. Yeah, no surface looked. Okay, let's go deep. Hmm, I don't like that. I like hiding across the layer, uh, but we are not going to be able to do it. Two for two. So I'm guessing if we go in um, two ninety degree course, 
At five knots, we will eventually regain contact. They should come closer to us. I will have much better equipment than they do, so... Let's put some dive planes here. We are going to sink down to 600 feet, more or less. Okay, coming to course, 290. Okay, rudder to neutral. Let's keep on going down. 600 should be a pretty good position. Not very deep, not very shallow. And really, it's bad luck that we don't have a, a layer. Damn it. Alright, we are about to cross 500 feet in a matter of seconds there we go uh, when we are at 50 I'm going to start neutralizing the dive planes and we regain the contact okay I'm going to start neutralizing the ballast tanks so we stop at 600, well a little bit past but that's okay. Okay, what are you? You are an attack submarine of some case, of some, of some class, that I know. And you are not alone, I also know that. No Victor, no November, no Kilo, no Tango. Foxtrot. Or even Romeo. Seems to be a pretty long range, so I'm going to think it's a Romeo. This guy is totally hopeless versus us. He shouldn't be able even to sniff our position. And from there, even if he uses active sonar, he will get no return. So, yeah. Seems to be in a north course, more or less. Um, he's transiting, so I'm guessing he will be at maybe 10 knots or something like that. It's usually the the speed they are going. So we are going to move really close with him, but to do with that we need a little bit more. Oh, we have another one. Okay. And they are also pretty shallow. Uh, okay, the second one. No, you are not a Romeo. That's evident. No whiskey either. No Foxtrot. You look like a tango. And this one is a little bit worse news. Okay, 320 should be enough. Okay, so ideally we want to deal with this guy as soon as we can. But this one is closer. Hmm. And they both are pretty high. And we lost Tango. <coughs> don't like that well they shouldn't be able to hear us in any case I'm going to just in case load a MOS well you're reloading you are not silent your signature is bigger and as you can see these numbers are higher uh, but um, they are totally negative they can't hear us at all meanwhile we are very very faintly detecting them under 10 you don't detect anything um, so yeah we are just barely hearing this guy 43 I want to wait for a proper acquisition and we know the tango is there so we have to be careful with that Okay, mouse is loaded, back to silent running. Let's compress time a little bit. Give time for this TMA analysis to go forward. It's coming closer, which I don't really like, but we need uh, some time. And he probably has a slowdown because the signal is much fainter. up there okay <coughs> we 
we have an estimated course uh, we need more steel to fire not that we need, we could actually fire a Mark 48 and hope for the best, but uh, I'll probably hit I mean, those torpedoes are really good but, mm, yeah, I want to have a good fix on the enemy and also there's this tango, which I don't know where it is and also, it was a wolf pack might be a third one so, let's be a little bit patient here okay, we are beginning a little bit of signal strength here and, uh, okay have a fix on the course and speed now, if we have a layer, I would go across it from where he is, on fire there and then make the torpedo either pop up over the layer or pop down under the layer to surprise him so he hears the torpedo as late as he can okay, Tango is back, Tango is back, let's wait for that TMA Ooh, very strong signal here He must be moving at... Per yeah, he's cavitating And now we almost lost him Okay, this Romeo is turning away from us Probably is doing a crazy Ivan to check his baffles Hmm... A crazy Ivan is... I mean, you have the... Um, well, we do have a tow of the ray, these guys don't uh, If you don't have a tow of the ray uh, You can hear only what is in front of you Not what is behind So... Um, Soviet submarines usually did um, sudden changes in course Half circles, in fact, and sometimes a full circle at slow speeds To uh, check their baffles and be sure that no one was following them uh, yeah, he seems to be turning back So that seems to have been him checking his rear Meanwhile this Tango, we have a 38% fix on him <coughs> Let's be patient here, we don't, we aren't in our bus. We are not even close to be detected Even if they go active, they won't get a fix on us So, yes, let's keep on going A little bit of time compression give time for that TMA to develop it's a very faint contact, however, it's going to take a quite, a, quite a little bit thankfully, however, the bearings are changing very fast so... we get a better TMA from that now, we are losing a little bit of info on this guy and I don't like that, but we knew where he was, so that's not a big deal Let's concentrate our efforts on this dude Very very faint Only 6 decibels If he goes active, he won't get a return, he needs more than 10 And on a broadside approach To get a full uh, contact on us So right now I'm reasonably sure that even if they go active, they won't get a fix on us Ok, we have an estimated course and speed But I want a better fix than that This Romeo is getting on my nerves Ok What are we going to do? What the hell? Oh That's me clicking um, okay, let's begin to give some orders We want this to go this, we want this to go a little bit up Because they are close to the surface Both of them are close to the surface So, both torpedoes will go up after activation Come on Tango, 63% This Romeo is coming awfully close and I don't like them being so close the closer it comes, the worse it's going to be So, ok uh, Fire control, tube 1 We are going to lose the wire, so I want to set a short activation distance So, let's turn a little bit before opening fire I want a course of 270 before opening fire 
Just in case he goes active, I want to give him the smallest return I can. He was here, he should be around here actually. This contact is not fully de developed. Okay. Tango is 69%, 71%. And we lost the tango. Shit! Romeo. Coming close. Okay. Stabilizing in 266. Okay, 2-1 ready. And... Uh, Fire to one. Now let's hear for possible launch transients. Given how bad the sonar on these guys is, I'm not expecting them to. Okay, we have an active ping, and we have an active ping, but this guy won't get a return out of us. Tango is capitating, they have detected the, um, the fish and we lost the wire. I'm not accelerating because I don't want to give my position away. We don't really need. Unless they fire back, I'm not going to accelerate. Okay, this weapon should go active at any, at any second. And once it does, it will go up and activate its sonar. We are getting in from this tango, good. The Romeo, we have a good fix because he has really put a pedal to the metal. You can see he's cavitating. It's weird that he hasn't fired back. I mean, usually when you fire, you want to clear the datum, but we are so close that really that would do nothing. Okay, that's our torpedo going active. And uh, noisemaker, yeah, we have a fix on the Romeo. This guy is dead. A Mark 48 is not going to miss that one crappy submarine like that. This tango is not going to get a return on us yet. Okay, noisemaker is causing the Mark 48 to avoid. It's going to do a turn and come back on him. Tango is moving away. Another noisemaker. Okay. The problem is we don't have a way, otherwise it would be manually guiding this thing. Okay, he has he has a fix, he has a fix. This this guy is dead, this guy is dead, this guy is dead. Impact Romeo dead. Okay, next in line, Tango. I'm holding fire, I want a proper fix on him. He doesn't know where I am. I know that because the active sonar number is below 10. He's not far from getting a return on me if he keeps on pinging, however. So, how far do I wish to go? And how much do I want to risk it? Um, well, hopefully we are going to keep the wire on this dude because this is a pretty bow on torpedo. Okay, tube number three. Equalize, get ready and fire. We don't have the perfect fix on him, it's only a 47%. We have a proper idea on where he is. And that's a Suno Boy, we have a plane on top of us. Shit! 
That's really bad news. Uh, another reason why I don't want to go at full speed right now. That's a Sunovoy, it's pretty far away. Well, pretty far, it's almost 2000 yards. But being in quiet mode, I don't think they are going to be able to track us. In the meantime, yeah, we still have the weight on this dude. And we should be able to hear any sudden change in, act in activity from this dude. He still haven't heard this torpedo, otherwise he would be going at full speed and probably cavitating. There we go, he has detected the torpedo. That's a sudden increase in, in speed. Probably cavitation even. Okay, burning is more like this. Let's activate the weapon. It's going to come up and I can hear that plane in on top of us. So I want to make sure okay something has been dropped. I don't know what it is. Probably Sonoboy, whatever. Okay, since we have a fix, maybe a good time to cut the wires and just let go, but I'm going to hold on, because I don't have a proper fix on this dude yet, and I want to have it. Okay, now we do have a fix. Enemy is there. He's still won't get an active mm, return on us. Son of boy here. I saw that thing dropping another one, but I don't see the marker. So for now I'm going to assume I'm still undetected. Which is a lot of assuming because those anti-submarine planes are far too powerful. Um, they have a um, truly full of shit uh, magnetic anomaly detector. They are looking into it, the developers, so no big deal. Oh, we have a torpedo up there. Is it going to get a fix on us? Probably yes. Let's be careful. Seems he didn't get a fix on us, but I'm going to move south. Because I don't want to come closer. And seems yeah the, the enemy doesn't really know where we are. Yet. Supposing we still have the cable the wire on this thing. Okay, fire control broken. Okay, we lost the wire, but thankfully we don't need to do a lot of manual input here. Okay, new course to zero zero. As soon as we are there, we will go neutral on the rudder. This torpedo is totally hooked on that tango. Coming closer, 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 closer. Boom! Okay, neutralize rudder. South southwest. We don't have to deal with a tango anymore. Which means we could increase a little bit of speed, but this sonoboy makes me nervous. I don't want to go break silent um, mode. Okay, now I do want to full rather to starboard deploy noisemaker. Okay, opposite rather. Go down. Stop cavitation. Okay, that thing really took me by surprise. Okay, let's head under. 
Drop another solo uh, noisemaker. Let's see if we can go as deep as we can. He's coming for us. No, he's a tra lost track, I think. Yep. Okay, reverse rudder. Let's try to create a knuckle here. We won't because we are not at full speed, which we are going to be right now. Okay, level up. Actually, reduce the speed to two thirds. Meanwhile, we still have that blasted airplane on top of us. Really? I was never detected, ever, and that thing again came on top of us. Happens all the time in the campaign. Really, those planes are far too powerful. Okay, this one is spoofed. It's still doing circles there. This one, we avoided it. Seems to be doing a snake pattern away from us. Return to silent running. Okay, he's circling back. Shit! Let's see. Did he hook on our position? Doesn't seem like it right now. He's still wiggling. And now he's not wiggling. Okay, full speed ahead. Full port rudder. God damn those freaking planes. Full up on the planes. Reverse rather. Create a knuckle if we can. We didn't. Deploy noisemaker. Inversion on the planes. Let's make the torpedo think we are going up. Or we are actually going down. He's regained us. But we are going to avoid him. I hope. I think we did. Okay, level on the planes. We are under our test depth. So let's go up again. Inversion on planes, nuclear formed. Alright, that should get rid of him for a while at least. Silent running. Oof. Okay. Did we lose it? Did we lose it? Ah, uh, we have a Sonobo in top of us. Shit. Ah, uh, no, we didn't lose him. Okay, full speed ahead. Flank speed ahead, actually. We are going to go up this time. Holding on on the deployer. The deployment of the decoy. Okay, nuclear formed. That might distract him without a noisemaker. Seems it did. Okay, let's go up. 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 Reduce the speed to maybe a head standard. Don't want to capitate. Okay, as fast as we can. Let's see if we can leave him circling down there. No. Got sent of us again. Yeah, we are cavitating, no big deal. Deploy noisemaker, stop cavitating. He's going to pass under us, okay. Full bow on the planes, we don't want to breach surface. Go silent and stabilize. Let's see if we can use surface capture on this guy. We are his, I mean, we are between the surface and him. 
the surface will be giving fake returns to him, so he might have trouble reacquiring us. And if not, well, we will have to repeat this again and go under. God damn these planes. I mean, I'm sure those submarines didn't know I was here. They knew torpedoes were coming, but not from where. I hate planes. Okay, we got rid of those freaking blast uh, torpedoes. But not of the freaking blasted plane because we have a Suno Boy on top of us. Alrighty, down we go again. Well, that was hairy. How are we on our stores? Oh, we only used four Noisemaker, we didn't use any moss. Good. Well, that was quite a little dance, wasn't it? Yeah. It's funny that I'm forced to do this against <laughs> airdrop torpedoes all the time. Uh, because I rarely get fired by an enemy submarine. I always out, out maneuver and outperform them. Okay, let's check. Can we? Oh yeah, we can! No aircraft nearby? Really? Maybe he just went away, I don't know, but I'm going to take it. Leave combat. Okay, Romeo and Tango sunk. We spent two torpedoes and only four noisemakers. I'm going to call this a very good mission. Continue. Yeah, 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 very happy about your recent success. Uh, the Soviets should be aware that the Atlantic is our waters. Yes, they should. Uh, the problem is that plane didn't really seem to know, you know, about that. How about sending some fighters? Uh, yeah, well, whatever, continue. And now we are going to see convoys protected because we destroyed those destroyers. So this is going to have a positive effect on the war. Uh, not a lot, I mean, the result of the war, I think, is a consecutive series of your performance during, during these missions. And we get new orders. Pattern movements, enemy ship, replace tankers and tenders. Enemy force, including one of two of these ships, is expected to sail from Ankangels. Uh, rendezvous near the Greenland Sea. So we have to go there and sink that group. Before he completes the replacement of enemy forces. Enemy submarines in that group. So they have submarines, they are going to have surface escorts. And we have to hit the tenders. That's going to be fun. Especially with planes overhead all the time. Yeah, any nearby submarines is possible as a secondary objective. Avoid detection by enemy anti submarine warfare patrols. Good luck with that. Weapons free. Okay. So we'll go on with this, but and that will be probably in another episode. Uh, in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of this, by the way. Um, based on how many people watch the video and yeah, the likes and all that, and that stuff, I will see if that's well worth it or not. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching, guys, and see you later.